This is a steam engine, a delicate model, and it was packed and shipped in this foam sleeve, which protected it very nicely. It came with this instruction sheet. The main thing here is it tells you to only put 10 milliliters of water in the boiler and not to overfill the alcohol lamp. This is the Hero of Alexandria steam engine. You put 10 cc's or 10 milliliters of water in this boiler and heat it with this alcohol lamp. It boils and produces steam and the steam comes out these three little jets. It's a rocket-like reaction. And I have no way of measuring the speed on this thing, but it gets up well over 2,000 RPM. It's pretty impressive. The instructions say to unscrew this, but what you do is turn it gently and pull up on it. And there's two O-rings here that seal in the neck of this boiler. I have water in here already, so I'm not going to turn it over. But down here on the bottom, there's a little dimple, and it rides on the point of this uh, support bracket. You put that in there. And there's a bearing up here at the top. And you gently screw that down in there and then check to make sure it spins freely. You'll heat this up until it boils and produces steam and this thing will take off and start spinning like crazy. As soon as you can see that it has stopped producing steam you want to blow that fire out so you don't get this any hotter than necessary maintain the integrity of those two o-rings. When I first got this, this was real loose and I turned it this way several times and turned it the other way and it appeared to me that this was just an edge that was bent over and I used it like that and put alcohol in here and the reflected heat got in there and boiled off that alcohol. That gas caught on fire and I had quite a large flame coming up here. I got that put out and after this cooled off I was trying to figure out how to seal that and I kept turning it and I turned it and turned it and it finally it came apart. It's a really fine thread on here. You put that together, make real sure you don't cross those threads and turn it and then make it real tight. The engine comes with a syringe. It's marked off in milliliters, five milliliters to this point. I put two of these in the boiler, no more than 10 milliliters in the boiler. I've run this a couple of times and had problems with the fire. The fire would be too small and the air conditioner was blowing it around. It wouldn't heat this fast enough. So yesterday I made this fire too big, turned off the air conditioner. This got up to about two, 3,000 RPM. It goes through a bit of a harmonic and this stand is a little bit shaky. But once it got up to speed, it stabilized and it's quite nice. Good idea to wear safety glasses, maybe even a face shield when you're around this. When you have pressurized steam and there is no pop-off valve other than these orifices, things can go wrong. When this first starts off, it can squirt out some hot water. So if you have your hand down here, you could get burned. So wait until this just starts to move and then put your hand down here and stabilize it because this can shake around and maybe walk off the table. I have found this stand to be a little bit too shaky when this thing tries to get up to speed. So I have it clamped in a machinist vise and we'll fire this up and see if it'll go. I'm trying to keep the water off of my vise. Here we go. It does spray a little hot water sometimes. So keep away from it until it gets going. Still increasing speed. This is probably 1500 to 2000 RPM. That would be about 2000 I would guess.
probably doing about 3,000 RPM. It's about to run out of water. The remaining water is building up a little more pressure. Ran out of water. When it runs out of water, just before it runs out, you'll hear it increase in speed a little bit and then a definite decrease in RPM. It's time to blow the fire out. I've run this about 10, 12 times. The steam engine itself is quite nice. This is a very heavy boiler. It is in fact made as a pressure vessel and it does develop a bit of pressure in there even with these jets open. When I had the fire too big yesterday, it blew the stopper out and came apart and I have a video on YouTube, What Not To Do, and that's a good reference video. You want to keep this fire down a bit low like this last run. Clamped in a vise, like I say, is, is a good idea. It studies this. It's a very good demonstration model, and it gives you an excellent idea of the power of steam.